Welcome to our lecture online. To get a better feel for condition 3, let's do an example where the vector field is not conservative. And as we have experienced in the past, when we change this positive to a negative, we have a non-conservative vector field. So let's check it using condition 3. We're going to take the partial of P with respect to Y and the partial of Q with respect to X and see if they're equal or not. Our prediction should be that they're not equal. So partial of p with respect to y in this case is going to be the partial of y with respect to y which is equal to 1 and the partial of q with respect to x which in this case is going to be the partial of a minus x with respect to x which is equal to a minus 1 and notice when we compare the two results they're not equal to one another which according to condition 3 tells us that vector field is a non-conservative vector field, which means if we do a line integral over that vector field, it will be path dependent. Different paths will give us different results. And if we do a line integral over a closed loop, it will not equal to zero. And that's how we can use and utilize condition three for path independence and to see if the vector field is indeed conservative or not. 